how do I believe that I'm up, I am my husband's standard of beauty when he's looking at porn? Mm -hmm. And again, there is um, so much pain in that. And the truth of it is when a husband or a wife are looking at or thinking about something that's not real, and pornography is not real, mm -hmm. romance novels are not real, mm -hmm. what happens is you become dissatisfied with God, what God has actually given you, the gift that he's actually given you. Uh, I'll share this story. My husband recently has been on this fanatical diet, <clears throat> and part of the diet was that he had to just drink these protein drinks for a week and no solid food at all. And they're pretty nasty protein drinks. So he was very disciplined to do this, but after seven days, he was allowed to have solid food. So I made him this chicken soup, and and there's this list of things that he I'm could tell him what else you made. Well, I'm going to tell. There's this list of things that he could have, and there it wasn't a very big list, and they all looked disgusting. And one of them was Swiss chard chips. You know what Swiss chard is? It's like a really bitter lettuce. So you take this lettuce and you rinse it off and then you just put some olive oil on it and some salt and bake it in the oven. It's supposed to be like chips. Like that's just lame to, to use that word, <laughs> like potato chips. So I make these, this was just last week. I make these and I tasted one and I'm a healthy, kind of a health nut guy. He was never a health nut guy. I'm like, oh, he's gonna hate these, it's so gross. And he's eating these Swiss chard chips going, mm. Oh, you're so good. You're the best cook. <laughs> but, but he hadn't had food for seven days. <laughs> Anything would have tasted good. <laughs> and, and I think that's right to this question. When we, both as wives and as husbands, set our eyes only on what God has given us and we refuse things like pornography or fantasy or even letting ourselves look at someone else like, oh, I wish I was married to that person or I wish my husband looked like that or my wife looked like that. Mm -hmm. What God has given becomes so pleasurable and a normal woman's body that's aging and it doesn't look perfect becomes so stimulating to a man. But when he's infiltrated with pornography, uh, the research shows that his, his partner, his wife, becomes less desirable, mm -hmm. that he rates her as less attractive. And so uh, battling pornography as a team is important for so many reasons. But the blessing that you get when you do that is that what, what used to be something that you didn't enjoy becomes something that mm -hmm. is exquisite pleasure now. Mm -hmm. and, and it's important for men to realize that. It's important for husbands and wives to work together towards that. And the good news is that you can work towards that. Yeah. Even if you and or your husband have been involved in something like pornography for years and years and years, and you're now working towards saying no to that and building towards pure pleasure, God can restore that and give back the joy and the pleasure of yeah. the sex that he's given you together. Yeah, I think it goes back to what we were saying earlier, that, that God is the healer mm -hmm. and he can restore sexuality, uh, no matter how it's been destroyed. Mm -hmm. He can do that. And Julie, I think it's important for us to realize as women that the statistics now say 30% of those who visit porn sites on the internet are women. Mm -hmm. And there are literally millions, tens of millions of women who are reading books like The Fifty Shades of Grey, and other, uh, really, pornography for the mind mm -hmm. more than for the eyes. And so I think we need to be careful, too, because as you alluded to, romance novels, particularly very sexual romance novels, do the same thing for a woman that viewing pornographic sites do for men. Mm -hmm. So we need to be careful, yeah. too. What we're watching and it's, and it's frightening uh, because the porn industry, I read an article that said that they had saturated the male market. And so now they've been intentional about going after the female market. Mm -hmm. So they're trying to create pornography that has more of a storyline, more of an emotional mm -hmm. hook. Um, and so this is not just a man's problem. And it, it is destroying intimacy. Yeah. Um, but I appreciate, appreciate this question.